imagine being able to watch TV or talk to someone while secretly texting your friends. My next guest says his app could change texting as we know it. Stay with us. Well, admit it, you've spent time with friends or family, hunched over your smartphone, busy texting and emailing, don't even know people are around you. Well, I've seen people actually doing it on dates. Probably not a good date, but my next guest says his new app will put an end to all of that. Mario Romero is a postdoctoral researcher at Georgia Tech. First of all, tell me about your app and tell me how it works. Thank you for having me here. Well, the app is a software keyboard for smartphones and you actually can type on it without having to look at it. Okay, so who is this user? Who would use something like this, for example? Well, we developed it and our primary target population is the visually impaired. Okay. So the people that can transfer their skills directly, they don't have to learn it, right. are the people who know how to type a Braille. So that's it, so interesting because you, you wouldn't think, I mean, on some levels, this opens up the whole world of smartphones that's and right. this ability to, these, to, to folks who are visually impaired. Um, how can you do this with no one knowing, though? Uh, what do you mean by no one knowing? No one the wiser. If you're able to sort of, this is, this is really just for, for folks who need that, I understand. that, that sort of auditory feedback, right? Uh, yes, I want to I uh, make certain I, I there's, a, there's a data there that you said. Okay. People, visually impaired people actually do use their iPhones and their um, Android devices. It's easy to get information out of it okay. with screen readers. More difficult to get it in. To get it in. Okay, That's the so problem. how do we do it? We're holding this, the one that you've designed basically. Right. Okay, That's so explain it to me. All right, I'll explain it to you. And I'll start here actually, because um, this is the historical background. I'll give, I'll give um, your camera people just a second to zoom in. Okay. And this is what's called a Perkins Brailler. Right. And it's an electronic keyboard and you type A, B, C. And you can keep going, but basically the idea is that you chord. And it's interesting because it has fewer buttons than we have fingers. Right. So they don't have to be moving their, their fingers around like we do on a regular QWERTY. Mm -hmm. QWERTY is the name of the keyboard on your computer. Okay. So what we've done is we've mapped the, the keyboard directly onto the phone. And I'm just going to show you. We just bent it so that the okay. palms are facing each other. And you type A, right. B, C. C. Yeah, and you showed me how to do this, so it's not like I just magically figured out how to do this on my own. We went over We all it. know that would never happen. Um, but but tell, is this like Braille? Is this is it easier, more difficult to use than Braille? This is exactly Braille. Okay. So, and that's why I... Even on this, even on a smooth surface, which is so interesting. It is really interesting because Braille input is different from Braille output. In other words, reading Braille is a much harder task than actually typing Braille. Okay. All right, so if you wanted to send, if you were visually impaired, how would you send a message on this, for example? How would you do it? You would, know, you would need to know exactly where to put your fingers. All right, so if you're a visually impaired user, you would use a, um, a screen reader that tells you what's on the screen, and then you tap send email, and then it opens, for example, the to box. Okay. And when you tap on the to box, what regularly happens is the keyboard pops up. So this Braille keyboard would pop up, Braille touch would pop up, and um, you type on it, and then you do a gesture to send it. Interesting. And what's so fascinating is, is that this is the kind of thing that really will help so many more people have access to everything, basically. Well, it's, it's a big bet. It's a big bet, but it's a good bet. Mario Romero, thank you so much. We really appreciate your coming in today. So much we could talk about. This is a wonderful device. Thank you so much. Thank Great you. App. Thank you.